Hey everybody, Maddie here with Backwoods Mindset. So I didn't do a video for yesterday because of the debate. I figured people are going to be watching that. If I would have put out a video, it would have been later in the evening anyways. And I did put out a buck video on Backwoods Mindset. So if you didn't see that, you can go back and watch it. Um, I thought it was really funny. It didn't get as many views as I thought it would. Maybe it's one of those things that will take a while. Uh, we'll kind of let it go, see what happens. But I'm um, trying to bring Buck back into the mix on the Backwoods Mindset channel every once in a while. Um, as you know, I um, stopped the Buck and Barb. Um, it is not monetized um, anymore. Got to do the whole... Um, 4,000 watch time hours again to get that back and it just kind of that just ended up dead in the water um, Nothing was going on with it um, <clears throat> I think buck is um, Having a having a full channel like dedicated to him just is just wasn't a good idea He's better just coming around every once in a while hanging out, but uh, new video uh, Yes, or two days ago on Monday so, um, if you can't go back and watch that one, I, I thought it was funny. I think you'd get a kick out of it. It's your normal book stuff, but I've been, um, doing some, some thinking lately, you know, and I know a lot of you guys know I've been down and out about, um, finances like most people are, you know, lately. And, um, you know, there's always a lot of uncertainty with the way things are going to go. And I think something that I'm going to try to do for myself is I'm going to try to stop looking at the bad things um, or the things that I can't necessarily control, such as um, you know, when things are financially rough or, um, you know, I, losing a family member or, you know, whatever, whatever is happening. Um, I need to start thinking about what I actually have <clears throat> going on and what, you know, what's good for me. Um, and just be more thankful for that kind of stuff instead of going and, um, you know, complaining and uh, talking about it all the time. It get, kind of gets old and it gets old for me too. Sometimes I need to get stuff out and don't get me wrong, talking to you guys and being able to get things out and hear it and then rewatch it when I'm editing it. And you know, it's like when I'm editing something, I might hear it two, three times. Um, I hear it over and over again. And you know, sometimes it helps me, it teaches me and I put that stuff out and you guys hear it and you guys kind of know where I'm at. So I feel like maybe you guys understand me a lot and uh, that helps. And I know the views don't really do real well when I'm doing stuff that is um, just me talking like I am right now. Um, if I'm doing things, it, it always, you know, does better. That's just the way it is. Um, trying to get back into it, uh, working a little bit more, trying to get a little more in my creative mindset. I'll tell you, doing the Buck video on Monday was something for me that was park rangers flying in here. But anyways, that was something that really, really helped me out um, mentally, um, helped me out artistically. I got back into the, the fun, the having a good time. I think he just jumped out. I don't know. Like, he pulled up to the to the boat ramp and just jumped out. I'm kind of interested in what's going on. And so the boat ramp's right over here. And I heard he flew. He flew up. I don't think it was in the camera. I don't think you could see it. I could see his taillights right now. So there's the boat ramp. There's, like, the one side's, like, kayak. And then there's a couple docks where the boats can come in. And then they back the trailers up to it. And I heard him, he pulled up. I mean, he jumped out. So, I don't know what's going on. I hope everything's okay. Um, maybe we'll find out here. I don't know. And if I end this video 
and you know he just takes off and there's nothing or if something happens if more come up maybe I'll get out here and I'll be able to see what's going on and get something on film um, but anyways that was something I desperately needed to do and I didn't even realize it I had so much fun though um, just being able to just kind of like get stuff off the top of my head when I'm talking and it's a lot of the stuff I do and you guys know me it's stupid um, but like, I like when I do some of those sometimes and then I play it for my kids and my kids are sitting there laughing cause they're like, Oh, my dad's a goofball. And, uh, or when Amanda laughs, you know, when she gets off work and I show her what I did and, you know, she chuckles a little bit and she knows I'm a complete moron. Um, but I just like doing that stuff. I really wish I had like a partner in crime that was able to do stuff like that with me regularly. Like I'd like to do a lot more like outdoor stuff like that. Um, you know, at one point I even thought about just like switching over the whole backwards mindset thing and just having it as like, even when I do my fishing and all my normal stuff for the family, that it was just going to be buck. Um, I thought about doing that. It's, it's funny cause I'm more comfortable being buck than I am comfortable being myself and talking to people and like just being buck just kind of um I don't know I guess I get to escape who I am and I get to be fun for a little bit and um and funny you know I get I get to laugh and I get laughed from people and I know there's a lot of people along the way that uh that loved buck loved who he was what he did what he talked about um I do miss doing the stuff with Carrie um, with Barb. That was a lot of fun when we had that going. Um, it was a fun run. That channel, like I told you before, I do have plans for it. It's going to be something different, way different. Um, I'm going to be working on that. Not sure when I'm going to have it up and running, but I, it, you know, it's still over a thousand subscribers on that channel. Oh my gosh, my stomach is really upset right now. It's like turning. I don't know what happened. That felt really weird. <clears throat> Actually, I got some antacids here. I'm going to pop one in and see if it helps settle my stomach. I don't know what just happened, but it was like it went through my whole body. This is the second time two days in a row where, where it almost feels like my stomach's turning. Um, you guys know how I am with my antacids, so I love them. If any antacid companies out there want to give me a... Um, they're all the way down looking on the other end right now. They're looking for something. I just got the flashlights over there right now. But the um any antacid companies out there want to give me a deal. I use them in almost every single live. I could use them in every video. That's a possibility. These are my favorites though. Kind of. Uh, not necessarily like this brand but the flavor, it's um, it's like a mint or wintergreen, is what they call it. And uh, there's certain there like there's certain reasons behind that. I'm not gonna get into it. It's it's fun. why I like wintergreen. Um, it's uh, one of those triggers that uh, brings me back into like happier times of my life, like when I was younger and not a care in the world. Um, where, like, I would play with my friends, come home, eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, have a high C juice box, and, like, kick it in the living room for a little bit, and then, like, go out and play hard till dinner. Um, kind of takes me back to, like, that specific time. Um, yeah. So, that's, that's why I love those. But, it, once again, any antacid companies out there want to give me a shot of doing you know, showing it, doing some stuff. I eat, I eat antacids all the time. So, um, I'm here for you. You can contact me. Um, the one thing, um, I want to make sure that everybody knows. Um, and I need to make sure that people remember too, is that I don't have a PO box address and I have somebody that's currently actually making me something that I will be doing a video on. And they need to ship it to me and I need to make sure that they know not to send it to my PO box because it's gone. 
am I going to be getting a new P.O. box? Probably. Um, so with that being said, in the next, I would say the next week or two here, I think like all this financial stress that I've kind of had and how I've kind of had to live a little different over the past couple weeks is going to be changing a little bit. And I think I'm going to start getting a little more comfortable uh, financially. Um, I have some things that are going to be finishing up that I'll be getting paid on for work. I did get commission last week, which was a big help. I'll be getting another commission this week. Um, so things are starting to kind of turn around. I'm trying to work on everything, get everything flowing a little more smoothly. But, uh, once that happens, if I have the extra, I will go get a new PO box. I was even thinking about going and signing up and just doing a monthly, um, which overall ends up costing more money doing a monthly PO box. But if I do that, it, it's just kind of, it might be easier to pay. Um, then try to come up with a lump sum like it's I, th I think it's it's over a hundred dollars a year uh, For the PO box and I think the last time like I was paying every six months I was like 50 bucks, which isn't a whole lot of money But when you're having a rough time, it's hard sometimes to come up with 50 bucks, especially if your kid It fell right when my kids were going back to school and I'm getting a new football gear and um, I had to get you know, I bought Darcy a dress for homecoming and um just all sorts of all sorts of stuff just stuff that is i should have thought i had it and that was my own fault for not um but there's like planning things doing things there's all sorts of things here comes another here's another one yeah there definitely something's going on they're looking for somebody i have a feeling that with me being here i may somebody may come up and talk to me i don't know it's kind of interesting but i do see flashlights in the distance in the distance anyways there it's good that there's park rangers around here though um and this is also sometimes why um i don't like being down here by myself at night there is there's other cars down here yeah there's two or three other vehicles down here there's one next to me i don't know what you can actually see in the camera but um it's like a metro parks vehicle next to me and i, I like to come down here and do my lives because it's quiet um helps me clear my head but you know you still got to be careful um wherever you're at but like i've told you guys in the past i know the one time i was up here and a park ranger actually came up parked next to me just to make sure i was okay it was downpouring rain that was <laughs> that was actually the video the night uh that my grandmother passed um and that's i think that's going to be something that's going to going to stick with me uh for the rest of my life but anyways that's what we got going on right now i uh, just kind of wanted to talk some stuff out let you guys know exactly what's going on right now where i'm at with my channel and things are getting better things are looking up I'm feeling better. I'm doing better. I think maybe in this video, you can even tell um, tomorrow morning, I have um, three estimates that I'm going to be going to. And then I have another estimate that I'm going to be going to on Thursday. And that estimate is at like, um, it's like 930 in the morning, something like that. But I guess it's like some apartments. Um, that we need to go in and estimate out. So that is, um, that's going to be, um, cool. And I hope from what I hear, like all these people that I'm going to quote offer, everybody that I've talked to so far has seemed amazing. Um, and I love when I have clients like that, like right now, like my clients I have, I just have some super amazing clients and everything's just been going fantastic on the on the work front so money's coming in things are getting better um and we're just going to keep moving forward we're just going to keep working hard and trying to get things completed and done you guys know i did a video showed you i got some projects coming up all sorts of stuff i hope that you guys stick through it i hope that you do go over and watch the video that i posted on monday um like i said or it's today monday
whatever today is. Um, I say Tuesday. I don't even know what today. Okay, so it is Tuesday. So this is coming out Wednesday. So today's Tuesday. So the, the the video did come out Monday, but it was a buck video. Go check it out. I'm sure you guys will love it. Um, but with that being said, slime on. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye, everybody.